Wow. What's the time here in Dubai? Nearly 3 a.m.? I'm about to have to go get on a plane <laughs> yeah. right now. It's, it's been a long one, but an entertaining one as well. We waited for Floyd to come out. We said, look, when he does come out, he's going to entertain. He entertained and some. I mean, Floyd was doing press-ups. Floyd was doing everything in the ring. I like this kind of Floyd. I don't mind this guy. He was every character you could find in the ring. He was the ring girl. He was his own coach. He was Deji's coach between yes, rounds once. He was. He did everything and more. Listen, this is what you pay for. It's Floyd, money, Mayweather. You give your money, you get the entertainment. That's what happened. You know what I like, though? Deji's going back. We were ringside, lucky enough to sit with Deji's mom. And she was like, just land one. He landed a few. He I mean, he cut Floyd. And for me, that's the W. How many people the leave, w. A, leave a shiner? on the eye of Floyd Mayweather in these exhibitions. Logan Paul didn't do that. Nope. There's a lot of guys that didn't. Floyd got caught, and Deji can take that with him forever. But you know what I said? I said this during the broadcast. If he hits Floyd, Floyd's going to go into that tool bag, tool bag and start bringing out a box of tricks, and unfortunately, that's what he did, and he started to turn up very quickly. Yeah, it was it was whenever he wanted to do it, that was going to happen. If it was the first minute of the first round and he wanted to do that, it would have happened. Yeah. Floyd was in complete control. Maybe one lapse moment where Deji got one off, but... You have to respect Deji for taking some of the shots he took. There were some that were, eh, this, yeah. but there were some that were big time shots. Some and big Deji body shots as well. Yeah. Floyd went to the body a few times. Some were on the belt line. Some I thought straight a bit low. Kenny yeah. Bates was like up, up, mm -hmm. and Floyd was like, look, leave me alone. This is just yeah. an exhibition. But it was good. What, what next for both? For Deji, what kind of confidence can he take and go and do stuff on misfits? That's I, what he wants to do. I said this, man. On my channel, I said this. And it came true. Deji, the biggest thing, now listen, a guy like me, whatever the paycheck was would be the biggest thing. But for Deji, the biggest thing he's going to take away from this is the confidence he just gained. Mm. The six rounds, the landing of a shot. Now he goes back to the influencer scene. There's no one built like that man yeah. in the influencer yes. scene. Yes. Deji is going to have so much more experience, the wait time, everything that he took from this fight, that he is not going to, he's going to never have any issues getting ready for a fight now. Yeah, for Floyd, what for Floyd? Does he, does he entertain? His brother, KSI, does he entertain Jake Paul, who physically is a lot bigger, or, or does he go somewhere else? What does Floyd do? Does he stay around this scene? Floyd, uh, of course, yeah, he yeah. has to. It, it, it's really his pick of the litter now. He's put himself in a position to go to Dubai, to go to Japan, to go to the UK. He yep. talked about that in his press conference. He said he wants to come to the UK in February. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's whoever he wants, and if it makes dollars, it makes sense for him. It certainly does. It makes dollars for Tommy Fury as well. That was, look, what happened after the fight was more interesting than the fight. Tommy Fury, I guess, got the job done. It was an exhibition fight, so there was no winner. Um, it was a late minute, last minute replacement, so it was always going to be tough. Credit to him for staying on the card. What do you make of that altercation, though? You were ringside. Yeah, you I was saw right it. there. Listen, as soon as the fight was over, Tommy and John could not get over to Jake quick enough. Yeah. John Fury wasn't going, hey, fight Tommy. He was leaning over the ropes spit flying out of his mouth saying fight me i'm the oh, bare really? knuckle king fight like... me and then the shirt came off oh, it was fantastic. And, the, and the meat was flying hulkamania running wild yeah and you know the whole thing happened which i expect out of out of, out of john yeah but what jake does so well and i'll give him his credit because he is the king of this we're sitting there ringside jake's talking to him during the fight love it he was saying you know you're trash all this tommy started talking Tommy's back talking back and you know what Jake did it to him. That's what he does. He gets you out of your element. And Tommy tried to come through the ropes. Mm. How many times have you seen him lose his composure in interviews? Very rare. He doesn't do it. Jake got it out of him. Why did Jake not get in the ring? Why did he not do the nose-to-nose, -nose, the face-to-face -face that we all want? Why did he say, you know, we ain't doing it. We're not playing your game. I think, and again, I have to give Jake credit here. He's a smart man. He has his own promotion. He understands when and when, or when and where, excuse me, to do exactly that. Wasn't going to give Tommy the satisfaction of being right and saying, come in and do it. He said, you come out to me. Come out to me. And Tommy tried. Yeah. But Jake's a smart man. He understood that wasn't the moment for him. But it's coming. Because I saw, and I'll give you guys this because I'm going to put it on my channel too. There was a handshake involved. There was a handshake. I'm not going to say who, but I'll just say Team Fury, Team Paul. Seems like we're on the same page here. That fight might be coming soon. Maybe third time lucky for that one. We know what happened the first two times. Finally, anything else to entertain you on the card? Yeah, Anthony Taylor was great. Yep. Um, he came in, a lot of frustration in the in the buildup the whole week. He let it out. And you know what? Jack Vinchon wasn't bad. Mm. To take shots from a guy that experienced, right? No one was coming in fighting Anthony Taylor and their first fight as a pro, or even if it was an exhibition. I, he will stay him. around the influencer scene. Yeah, credit to 100%. him. 100%. That was a four-rounder for him, two minutes. He'll be back and he'll fight. Uh, but look, I think the story of the night is Deji actually hit Floyd. Unbelievable. That's the story of the night. Deji landed and cut Floyd. I'm clipping that up. That's incredible. Of course. It's incredible, but look, it was a great night here at the Coca-Cola Arena. They're trying to kick us out. Literally, either side of us, we've got security guards because they're trying to kick us out. Yeah. But look,
been fantastic. Well done to Wade on commentary duties as well. We are coming back very, very soon. Austin, Texas for Hasim Rachman versus Vita Bell for Misfits Free. We're there as well. Make sure you tune in. That one's coming next Saturday to stick with us. Loads more action coming on the zone from myself, from Wade, 3 a.m. Gambed. It's been a long night.